Hey guys, it's Sarah. And as you saw, I purchased and read You Love Me by Caroline Kepnes. And this is one of my most anticipated books of the year. There are two books coming out this year that really I... I told myself when those come out, I'm going to buy them and I'm going to read them immediately, which I don't normally do. I usually buy them and then they sit on my shelves for a couple years. But I knew <laughs> at least two of these books this year, I wanted to do that. This is one. The other one comes out later on this year. But I wanted to purchase it. I wanted to read it immediately. And I wanted to do a review because this is a highly anticipated sequel. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts because this is one of my favorite series of all time. Now, I will say this is book number three, but I will have no spoilers and I won't spoil the first two books either. You're in a safe space. Okay, so our main character in this book series is Joe Goldberg. Joe Goldberg is an obsessive person. He is a stalker and he has been responsible for deaths. I'll say that. Um, he's also one of my favorite literary characters of all time. <laughs> I think he's fantastic. The unique thing about these books is that you are being told the story from Joe's perspective. So you are in his head. It's told from second person. You're in his head. You see his thoughts. And it's, it's something. Joe is a very messed up human being. <laughs> and you get to experience it. Fantastic. Okay, so in this book, we are in Joe's head. He is living in the Pacific Northwest, and he's living on an island that is off the coast of Seattle. That's something that he just, he wanted to get away from cities. The first book was set in New York. The second book was set in LA. This one is set in an island off the coast of Seattle. So very different, right, for Joe especially. And he's living on this island. He is volunteering at the public library there because Joe is a book person. He reads a lot. He has worked in bookstores. He is kind of dealing in rare books and, you know, all that kind of stuff. He's very much a book nerd. So his first day volunteering at this library, he meets Mary Kay, who was a librarian there, and she's kind of his supervisor, if you will. And Joe being Joe, he immediately feels a connection with her and he falls hard as Joe does. Now, Mary Kay, who is also known as MK, she has a lot of responsibilities in her life. She's a mother. She has a very high maintenance best friend, and she just has a lot going on in her life. You know, she's a very busy person. She takes a lot of responsibilities on for a lot of other people as well. She's very caring. She wants to take care of people. She's a nurturer, all that kind of stuff. So she has a lot going on. So although Joe is feeling this connection to her and she's feeling it too. She's flirting. There's a flirtation happening between these two. So that's legit. He's really trying to insert himself into her life in a very subtle way, but it's working. And she can't always, you know, be at his beck and call and she can't, you know, drop whatever she's doing because he wants to have a drink with her. And so you see him struggle with that too. Um, She's just, she's a very busy person, basically. And so she's trying to make time for everybody, including Joe. And the closer they get, you see him start to meet her friends. You see him start to meet other people in her life, including her daughter. And um, being in Joe's head, you start seeing how all these people in her life are holding her down. <laughs> and they are getting in the way of their relationship. And, you know, something has to be done about that. And being in Joe's head, you see how he deals with things like that. And you just kind of, you kind of follow the story and how all of this makes sense. Okay, so that's the basic premise of the story. So my thoughts. Mm. First off, I think the way that these books are written is brilliant. I love being in his head because it gives you a different experience. You're not just reading about this, you know, stalker who's stalking this woman and then things start happening from there and you're just watching it happen. You're understanding the stalker. You're understanding his thought process. You're seeing what he is saying in his head versus what he says with his mouth to the people. You're seeing the differences. And I think it's so brilliant. And reading this book, I had... <laughs> 
Penn Badgley's voice and cadence in my head because he plays Joe in the show that is on Netflix. The first two seasons are on Netflix of this series. And so he's in my head. He is the perfect Joe. And it's like when I was reading this one in particular, because the show came out after the second book. But so for this one, it was a, almost a different reading experience because I had him in my head the whole time. And it was perfect. And I loved it. It just it gave it a whole new experience for me. And I will say this. <laughs> I will say, if if this were a real life thing and I was sitting across a table from Joe and he was saying the things out loud that he says out loud to other people, I would have been a goner. Like, I probably would have thrown myself at him. He's very, very charming and very understanding with what he says out loud. And everything he says out loud is intentional and it's to get you to trust him and to get you to drop everything else for him. So it's all very intentional. And I would have fallen for it. Like I would have, I would have been a Joe victim. I would have, and you know, that I'm, that's something I have to deal with. It's also a little scary. <laughs> it's a little scary. I'm sitting here reading this going, I would have totally fallen for that line. What does that say about me? And so it's, it's just so interesting. You really find yourself kind of conflicted <laughs> with how you feel about it because like you're understanding him and you're on Joe's side again. Joe does terrible, terrible things in books one and two. And in this one, he does terrible, terrible things. But I understand why. And I totally get it. And I'm, I'm kind of team Joe and that's not okay. And I understand that. Like way back here, I understand that. <laughs> but it's still it still holds true. Like I still want him to be okay. And I want him to be successful. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is not okay. So that's why I think this is just written so brilliantly that way, because it really gives you a different perspective. And it makes you feel these things that you know are wrong, but you're feeling them anyway. It's crazy. There is also a section in this book where we do revisit some older characters from the previous books. So that's something that happens here, which I really liked. And I will say, so for my final kind of thoughts on this book, I loved the reading experience for it. I'm giving it a four, maybe 4.5 because I liked it better than book two, which I gave a four, but I didn't like it as much as book one. And I don't think that any other <laughs> book from the series can beat the first one. I really don't. It was such a unique experience reading like that for the first time. And I loved what happened in the first book for sure. I did really enjoy this one as well. And like I said, I liked it better than book two, but I just don't think that any other book is going to live up to book one for me. And that's okay. It's not going to affect whether or not I read the other books. I'm definitely going to read and collect the books as a series because, you know, um, I think this is going to keep going as well, even past this one. So I'm just, I'm all in. I'm all in for the series. I absolutely loved it. I've watched some author interviews with Caroline Kepnes recently, and they were fantastic. And I just really like her as a person as well. I think she's great. And yeah, I did. I really did love it. It just wasn't quite the five star reading experience that I got with the first book. So I, yeah, it's just kind of one of those things. Um, but I would give it a very, very high four, like 4.5, 4.75 type thing. Um, but definitely worth the wait, definitely worth um, going out and getting it and reading it right away and definitely hit my expectations for one of my most anticipated books of the year. Okay, guys, that is my thoughts on You Love Me by Caroline Kepnes. Please let me know down below if you guys have read this series. Let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. If you've already read it, let me know that as well. And if you want to read this series, I will leave all three books linked down below. Make sure you go and check them out. If you have not read the first book, which is called You, it's that's top five for me, guys, of all time. Of all time. The audiobook is also fantastic. It's narrated by Santino Fontana, who, fun fact, also does the voice of Hans in Frozen. It's fantastic. Definitely recommend either reading the book or listening. Either one would go great. And yeah, this is just, I love this series so much. And I really love Joe as a character. I seriously think he is brilliant <laughs> and uh, resourceful and knows how to get himself out of a bad situation. 
And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm all in. Team Joe. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. Let me know all your thoughts down below and I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.